<sighs> what is up guys we're back again with another stream it's called my home All right. so the whole point of the stream is my southern home in elm creek which is the map uh, so this is just a bunch of like country living being a bunch of rednecks so i'm gonna give you guys a little tour around the house at first so we got a few spooky pumpkins because why not then I, we got our uh, saddles here for the horses. The horses are at another place right now, trying uh, getting checked up. They're uh, yearly checked up. Uh, this is the backyard. Let's see. AC unit. It's really hot in this log cabin right here. Right here. We got the wife's car. Um, Little, it looks like an Audi. It is. It is an Audi. Uh, I I can't drive it because I get everything dirty, and that's a hundred thousand dollar car. But what am I allowed? To, what I'm allowed to drive is this big old school bus here. So we got this uh, lift kit, rough country lift kit. We got new coils up front. It's a four wheel drive too. So. Yeah, big bulky, uh, all four big bulky uh, leaf springs from Rough Country. Then I want to shut this thing up here. Want up the steering pump. That thing is so cold it don't want to work. So just do this a lot. We're gonna we're gonna come over here. So I want to show you something too. Hold on. lights on all right so we got big old boom boom speakers back here uh, I think these are 212 or something like that put some nice LEDs in there they're looking pretty fresh I'm not gonna lie is it closing yeah okay then just closes too slow we're gonna go down this path here. There's actually two paths. It's like a Y, but come through here. Uh, I did make make that still accessible, so they don't have to walk in my yard anymore. But we got our three machine shops here. Uh, let's start from the back over. I'm sorry for the music. My brother is playing music. So let's start from back here. Uh, let me shut these lights off. Uh, I'm gonna leave that light on. Over here we got my trailer parking. They let me do it, so not not too. I'm not complaining, so yeah. I'm allowed to park my trailer there. Put these nice big bushes here, so people really can't see through them. But again, I don't like how I can't see my trailer. Uh, we got the big old fuel tra uh, fuel tank. Beautiful tank. Then we got the power washer. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, let's take this truck over here. We're going to take this thing over here. Oh, by the way, this thing is a diesel. So, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna come through here. Just feel that door here. So this is all the projects. So what's up in the projects? All right. So we got the lizard, not the lizard, the Ford F100. Call it lizard because they don't want to get copyright strike. But lizard 100. I lowered it. it still needs an engine. Uh, I still have to do light wiring, ignition wiring, and a lot more things. A lot of more things. There's a carbon here intake, gas 
gaskets in this little toolbox here. Uh, I bought it. it, it was lifted. It was a lifted two wheel drive. What could you really do with a two wheel drive pickup truck? Nothing, so I lowered the damn thing. Bed is still able to work, so. Yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't cancel the use of the truck. Just not towing any trailer. Then over here we got all the bikes here. So we got the YZ125. Good old bike right here. It's an 80. I think it was the 80s or 90s yellow plastics. Then we got the Honda Sierra 125. Then we got the go kart right here, which has uh, amazing steering. Uh, then we got our little side by side 1000 cc. Uh, there is going to be a lot more things in here besides just these two things. Like there's going to be um, one of these. Stacks right here are gonna be filled with oil, antifreeze, brake clean, uh, the greaser, everything. So that's what's going on over here. Then the big old doors, they open like that with hydraulics. I'm gonna shut that because I don't want to open that. But so that's one of the machine shops. Uh, we're gonna come over here. Over here is like trucks and older cars. So our two classical vehicles, which is the uh, F100 with big old boggers, uh, original color by the way. This is a very rare color on this truck here. I think this was 70, 72, something like that. Or was it before that? Cause these have circle headlights. I'm not really sure about that. We got the Lincoln Continental here. It, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles because uh, obviously. We, my grandfather doesn't have the money for that, but I'm sure this this car could be a lot more money now because you know I I just rebuilt it, washed it, waxed it, ceramic coated it. Still got the original seats, just reupholstered. When I got this out of my grandfather's barn when he passed away, this thing had 10,000 miles on it. All right. See, as you can see, it says Continental, lights back there, antenna. This is basically a big old land yacht, okay? And same thing in here, reupholstered. And this thing had 100,000 miles on it. Uh, I just wanted to straighten this out here. So you don't really see many of those in that color. You see a lot of these white. We got our big old uh, work truck here. It's a big old dually with uh, any rate, any level suspension up front. You're able to lower it or higher, lift it higher for like bigger loads when you have a big load and it's like, how can I explain it? When it's leaning backwards, you have a big load. You're able to lower it on the front have uh, more weight down on the front so you could actually steer we got our big old uh, lights here light bar hazards a big old toolbox too i fit like a bunch of tools in there truck's actually a little dirty i should have washed it off before i put it in here this one also has a big machine door has two of them Uh, another thing that I didn't show you guys, it has two garage, uh, two doors, plus this big door right here. I don't know if you can see that. So that's, so that's that. See how big that, that is? Let me close that door now. Uh, I'm going to hop in this little diesel, uh, Kenobi, Kamobi. All right, now you come into the shop with all the big lifts. Uh, it's called Hor uh, Ho Man uh, Hor Hor Man. I don't gonna open these. All right, so we got two vehicles in here. You could fit like six, maybe, maybe six. 
uh, we got the Ford Mustang 2004. This is this was my daily driver, only because you know that's all I had money for when I was like 16, 17. Uh, I put these pods here, the floodlights here. Then this is my off-road vehicle. This was my via my uh, daily driver as well when that thing broke. But I ended up uh, taking this thing off-road. It has the off-road uh, bars. Uh, I ripped off two flender, fender flares here, back there, on this side too. Two big light bars. Boom and boom. You could tell I rolled it once because of, you know, the paint right there. <laughs> uh, little paint misconceptions. That's it. This thing has how many hours on it? Two hours? That's nice. Two hours on that and how many hours? Nine hours on this. This has a lot more hours because of, it was my first car. This thing had 20,000 miles. It blew a head disc. It's a V8, regular V8 with an intake, cam, and stock stock manifold, I guess, right, I think. Yeah, a cam, intake, uh, intake filter, I should say. Uh, I think I did get headers, exhaust headers, but I just didn't put them on. I think they're over here in one of these boxes. I think it's that box. I got short, uh, long tubes. I mean long tubes, but not like long tubes, you know what I mean? They're like shorty tubes, but long tubes, if you know what I mean. Um, we got two filters here, hydraulic filters on the bottom. Are those hydraulic filters? I don't know what they are. I've never been in a shop with, with lifts. Uh, we got our workbenches here, pliers, uh, cutters, diagonal cutters, got a few wrenches, we got a drill press, uh, we got some brake clean in this can right here, uh, our fiberglass kit for the Mustang. Oh uh, yeah, I had to put a lot of sand right here because it was uneven and guess what I, What happened? It's sunken. Anyway, electrical, tires, jacks, uh, fuel tanks. Can I lift these up? No, I can't. What about the ladder? Can I lift that up? No. Uh, a little chicken crate right there. Got uh, oil drums. In terms of oil. This is for AC, that's why they're all locked up. But that's about it. I, I think I'm gonna take out the off-road truck. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open that up. This thing does need to get looked at for uh, suspension work. Oh yeah, and I never uh, told you guys what happened to this truck. I rolled it. I ruined two light bars, which are those ones. Then I also broke a thing. I think I blew two rear uh, struts. Two rear. Uh, what are they called? Shocks. I broke two rear shocks. Cracked the leaf spring back there. And I also cracked one of the spiders here. The knuckle. But she's looking pretty good now, I guess. I guess you could say that. Um, uh, I'm gonna take this thing out. This little four. No, I think it's a Dodge. Yeah, this is the Dodge. The other one is, uh, I think it's a Ford or the Triton. And yes, it's a six seven Cummins diesel that I ruined. Yes, I know. Uh, I got an intake for this. Oh my guys, let me mute my mic.
give me two seconds. I'm gonna go get water real quick, and then I'll be right back. Uh, I'm back. Let's go, guys. Uh, we're gonna take this thing. I don't know what I want to do with this thing right now. I shut this garage, so uh, we're gonna take this thing out. We're actually gonna wash this thing down before we go out. I don't want to get a ticket. Uh. Or should I take the old four out, guys? Should I take that the lowered Ford out that I did? I mean, no guys, but I don't know what I want to do right now. You know what I mean, guys? Do you know 